This is the experiment that shows the deflection of charged particles in a magnetic field. Everything will be taking place in this chamber here, which has a low pressure fluorescent gas in there. And that will enable us to see the path that the charged particles are taking because the gas will fluoresce wherever the charged particles are striking with the gas molecules. It will glow green wherever the charged particles are. Over here is where we produce the charged particles and accelerate them. So that's taking place over here on the left. And then we have these Helmholtz coils. That will give us a uniform magnetic field in that region there. And by altering the current flowing through the coils, I will alter the strength of the magnetic field. So that's the setup. I will now turn the light off so that we can see the charged particles in the chamber. So the lights are off now so that we can see the path the particles are taking. You can just see a slight, small green line where the particles are, going, are being accelerated straight up. I'm now going to increase the strength of the field so that will increase the force acting on the particles and make them go in a circular path. There we go, so we have them going in a circular path. You can see that green line going around there. As I increase the strength of the field, the radius of the circle gets smaller because the centripetal force is larger. And if I weaken the field, then that radius gets larger. So we've got a larger circle there. It's always a circle because the force is always perpendicular to the velocity of the particles at any instant. Now, I've increased the strength of the field. There is another way that I can change the radius of the circular path. And that is by giving the particles a larger velocity. I'll do that by increasing the electric field strength that is responsible for accelerating them. So I'm going to do that now. And the path is getting larger as I increase the electric field strength, which is increasing their velocity. And then I'll decrease it and I get a smaller path. There we go. So that is the experiment showing the path charged particles take in a magnetic field.